let let me grab this one because okay. this is this is what I find this uh, a, a a distractor of uh, all the principles that we talk about because it places literally decision making executive function in a wire. And that's all the Vegas is. It's a wire. It's a conduit with nerves going from the brainstem to the organs and from the organs to the brainstem. It's on one level it is the body's major surveillance system of organs. And another level, it's a regulator of those organs. And so there's so many what are called medically unexplained symptoms or diseases that are now labeled functional disorders because the end organ doesn't have any uh, pathology yet but it's not working right. That really is uh, disorders of the nervous system and often disorders of vagal regulation. And that comes from the brainstem. And if the brainstem has these basically functional foundational survival mechanisms, and if the brainstem gets signals saying you're under threat, those foundational survival mechanisms go in and they interfere with health, growth, restoration, sociality. So if we want to make life better for people, we don't numb their bodies out and we don't hack their vagus. We basically send them signals of safety and allow the nervous system to reorganize itself. And in a way, a lot of the work with vagal nerve stimulation, it's going up the afferent limb, the sensory limb, is sending cues to the brainstem as if those cues were coming from those organs. And now it's saying everything's fine. So the positive impact of vagal nerve stimulation is basically sending up the vagus that the organ is fine. And so you get a reduction of symptoms quite rapidly in some cases. Whether they're going to be uh, result in a profound reorganization is questionable because what you want in my modeling is a neural exercise where the brain learns to be more, let's say, co-regulatory with the organs. And what the vagal nerve stimulator functions as, it functions like a prosthesis. It's like you have it on, I feel better. Take it off, I feel bad again. And I think the future of interventions is really through neural exercises. And, to, and by the way, that's what your class is about. Those are all neural exercises. Thank you so much. And that's you know so important because there are right now millions being invested in these external ways. And we continue to repeat this pattern of give me something to hack the system. Give me a pill. Give me, you know, give me stimulation. I mean, the, yeah. I think the the massage is that was another of the mm. questions. The massage is uh, better than the external thing because it's more gentle in itself and it's more self-regulatory. The self itself is working with itself. Mm. It's always handy. You can take it in any moment. We are facing lots of challenges and probably we'll be facing even more. And we need to have something yeah. handy and we need to have been working with ourselves to develop that, like you were saying just now, that self-regulation instead of depending on something. What if the battery goes off? What, you know, it's just, it just it, it's not so integrative. Yeah. So. <laughs> so if you use breath or use uh, self-massage, if you focus on it and feel it in a sense, uh, we're going to, talk about this i think a little more today and that yes. is when you become more aware of how your body's reacting uh you start understanding those feelings and now they start becoming more common so there are physiological states of accessibility and calmness and that's what we're trying to teach people to to not only reach them but to when they reach them that they are aware of them and when they're not in those states, when their states move into more of a, let's say, threatened or defensive, that they are aware of it. There may be situations in which being in that state is the appropriate one. If you're late for a class or you're trying to catch a plane, your body needs to be mobilized. You can't just like click your feet together and say, take, get me back to Kansas, like in The Wizard of Oz. Wishful thinking is not going to do it. You're going to have to have recruit your own behavior. And that requires a mobilization. So we have to understand that we can be in both states, move back and forth. 